Somebody home. Sergeant. All right. Convoy stops it all right. Climb in the back. Thanks. Tommy's about a mile to the aid station in Oray. I think I must have walked about. You were saying, Sergeant? The aid station at Oray. You were walking there. Oh yeah. Well, it's uh, it's my leg. Oh, is it bad? Oh no. It's it's well. It's all right. Well, I'm glad we happened along. What's well, so on mine? My name is Hunter. Ann Hunter. I'm with the 49th back. I'm Sergeant Saunders, Company K, 361st. 361st? Yes, ma'am. Oh, that's his company, too. Private John Lee. G Company. Do you know him? No. Is it going to be all right? I don't know. You'll have to ask the doctor. Captain August, Sergeant Saunders. I don't know either, Sergeant. Depends. I guess the field hospital in Jerome. If infection doesn't set in before the shrapnel's cut out of his stomach. There aren't ten others on the table ahead of him. Any more questions, Sergeant? No, sir. 
Might be better if you rode up in front. He's only going as far as the aid station at Ore. Good. Ich habe einen Angriffspunkt für Sie. Die Stadt von Ore. Ore. Auf Ihrer Karte Abschnitt 3.005. Ich wiederhole. Die Stadt von Ore. Auf Ihrer Karte Abschnitt 3.005. Sergeant. All right. Who told you there was an aid station here? Doesn't look like there's much of anything left. Oh, we can take you on to the field hospital at Giron. Well, how far is that? About 70 miles, give or take a kilometer. There's another at Lael about uh, 40 miles south of here. I'll never make it back. My outfit will think I went over the hill. I'll catch up to that aid station. It can't be that far. Thanks for the ride, huh? Well, don't mention it. Sorry you're not going on with us. Well, it's all mine. Thanks for the lift. Sergeant. Good luck. everybody come on let's find out huh
Sergeant, I... I said get in the back. Now move. Sergeant, back at Oray, I, I didn't want to sell out. I tried to make a run for it. I, I killed a motor and I couldn't get it started again. You're a liar. We blew a tire. How was he? Alive.
I better take a look at that leg. It's all right. Look, Sergeant, I, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking I ran out back there. And I'm a doctor and I left that man to die. Didn't you? The convoy was wiped out. I didn't think we had a chance. You were wrong. What about the others? I'm not talking about the others. I am. If I'd stayed to save one life, I might have thrown away three others doing it. Who would have been to blame then, Sergeant? I'm not talking about blame either. I'm talking about turning your back. On a dead man. He doesn't have a prayer. He never did. He'll be gone by the time we get him to Jerome. I'm not going to Jerome. I'm going to Lyell. There's a field hospital there. Lyell? It's only half as far. Your driver told me. Did he also tell you that we'd have to run the Germans' flank to get there? I know that. We'd never make it. And even if we did... Look, Captain, you may be willing to sit back, play God, and let that man die. But I'm not. I'm going to Lyell. Look, Sergeant, no matter what we do or don't do, that man's going to die. Then we'll bury him in Lyell. Beaucoup d'Allemands sur les routes de l'Aigre. Il y a beaucoup d'Allemands sur la route des Aigres. Ils ont volé toute ma ferme et tous mes animaux sont tués. Il reste plus que mon cheval et ma voiture. He says there are Germans on the road ahead. They burned them out. When? Quand est-ce qu'on fait ça? Oh, hier, aujourd'hui. Je ne sais pas, je ne sais plus. He doesn't remember. All right, let's get him in the ambulance. No. Je veux rester ici. Je ne peux pas aller avec vous. Je suis trop vieux. La guerre est finie pour moi. Fini. He wants us to leave him here. He says he's too old to go on. Too old for war. Now let's get out of here. Is that all you ever think about? Running? Well, you heard what he said. I heard. Well, if you ask me, I think... Nobody he... asked you. Well, let's load up. Look, Sergeant. You just do like I tell you. For how long? Will you get us all killed? You can walk out any time you want. You'd like that, wouldn't you? You'd like to prove that I was a coward. That's what this is all about, isn't it? I'll tell you what this is all about. That could be me lying in that stretcher in there. And if it was, I wouldn't want to be counted out just because some know-it-all didn't think I had a chance. We're not talking about his chances. Now we're talking about ours. We're going to Lyell. No matter what. No matter what. Now who's playing God, Sergeant? Sergeant? Sergeant, don't you think you're being kind of kind of hard on the captain? You know a better way to get him to stand this ground? Fight back? Fight back? That's the only way he's going to get there from here. Well, I, I don't understand. Look, I've seen men with combat fatigue before. Good men. They fall apart. Never get the pieces back together again. Not without help. You're saying you're trying to help the captain? The only way I know how by pushing him. I'm going to keep pushing him till he breaks or finds enough spine to stand up on his hind legs and fight back. Now, that's a good way to get yourself a court-martial, Sergeant. He won't bring a charge. You mean you don't think we're going to make it? I didn't say that. No, but you meant it. Now, look, you, the Army says I can order you around all I want, so just stay out of my way till we get to Lael. Lael? Why not your own? Because it's half as far. But the Germans are up ahead. Well, that's a chance we're going to have to take. Well, why? For that wounded man or for the captain? Both. Even if it means getting us all killed? Staying alive, that's all you think about, isn't it? 
I'm no hero, if that's what you mean. That's what I mean. You know, you could be wrong about me, Sergeant. Oh, could I? Yeah, and wrong about the captain, too. He checked every last man in that convoy to see if they needed help. All but one. The most important one, as far as he's concerned. He worked on that man for hours. He did everything that he could. Not everything. I hope you know what you're doing, Sergeant. If you don't, you could wind up in the stockade. If the captain finds enough men inside him to throw the book at me, then he's got his problem solved. Well, let's go. does that make, Captain? You said you left a dead man in the streets at R.A. You changing your diagnosis, Doctor? You think he has a chance now? I didn't say that. And it doesn't make any difference when we get to lay old, does it? Sergeant! You can stay out the phone in there. Sergeant, you were right about Packet Ore. I ran. I sold out. I'd never been in anything like that before. I'm not a brave man, Sergeant. I never was. That's why I got transferred to driving that ambulance. They had me in jeeps at Fort Riley, assigned to a recon outfit. You know, the guys are all the time out there in the front. I got so I couldn't sleep at night. Because I knew that if we ever got in a tight spot, I'd do just what I did in Ore. Take off. Never look back. It's a stinking war. It is the way you're fighting it. I'm a coward, Sergeant. No one ever told you that. 
just figure that out for yourself. It wasn't hard. Running never is. It's a funny thing, though. Once you make up your mind to stand your ground, just once, you'd be surprised how easy it is after that. What happens if that time never comes? It will. What if it doesn't? You'll be fighting a war long after this one is over. Who told you to bring that in? I did. Put it over by the wagon. Yes, sir. The uh, storm doesn't seem to be letting up. I thought if it continued, you might want to... Uh... Cut the shrapnel out of that man? Yes. You're going to start in on me, too? Telling me what to do, what not to do? Oh, well, you know better than that, Will. That's Sergeant. I think he believes I want that man to die. Just to prove a point. I could get him ready. We've done it before. Under worse conditions than this. So many times I've lost count. Then why not now? I can't. You mean you won't? I mean I can. Not again. Not ever again. Do you have any idea what it's like to stand by and watch a man die, knowing there's nothing you can do to save him? Yes. Yes, I do, Will. Coffee? Thanks. Sergeant, it's wrong to blame the captain for what happened to Dore. Is it? You have to know him to understand. I worked with the captain before the war. He was chief neurosurgeon at the Belmont Hospital in Denver. Every nurse in that hospital wanted to work with him. He was very lucky. We were together for over two years. When he joined the army, I joined the army. He was what they called a bold surgeon. He was a brilliant doctor. Why, he'd take cases, hopeless cases, no other doctor would even attempt. The results were miraculous. The day of the landing at Omaha, he crawled on that beach for a mile, dragging men out of the water, working on them. Well, they say he saved over 50 lives. Whatever happened to that man? He's dead. He died when he began losing lives. 
lives of men that he might have saved if he had gotten to them in time. There was never enough time. So he started turning his back on hopeless cases. He began setting himself up as judge and jury as to who had a chance, who didn't. That's why the army's sending him back. Back. Sending him to a base hospital. Somewhere he'll be out of the way. Not somewhere where he won't have to make decisions. Life and death. If only he could be made to see how wrong he is. He's a brilliant doctor. There is one way. How? Get that man down there, Teleo, alive. And keep him that way. He doesn't have a chance. Who says? On the Germans? The road, the motor. This block is ready to split wide open. If we break down, do we have to push this ambulance on him? Sergeant, listen. It's a half track. Where do you think you're going? Lay out. 
Can't get there from here, not unless you can speak German. The crocs have broken through all the lines. They're coming up that valley back there. You can see them from the ridge. They're trying to cut off Lael. Welcome to trail along with me if you like. We can't do that. Oh, you better. We've got artillery fire going into that valley at 1,300 hours. Leave now, that'll put you right about in the big middle of it when it starts coming in. Hang back a ways. You won't have to eat so much of my dust. Good luck. All right, Sergeant, what now? We got 10 minutes. To what? Get to Lael. You heard what he said. I've been shot at before. Look, Sergeant, you can't save them all. There comes a time when we have to make a choice. A choice as to who lives and who doesn't. I always thought that was up to somebody else. Get off there. I want to go with you. I got to go with you. All right. What about you? You'll need me in back. You're going with him? Yes. He's a fool. You used to be the same kind of fool, Will. Captain, if you run fast enough, you can catch up to that half-track. Sergeant. We'll settle this when we get to Leo. Yes, sir. Doesn't look like too many to me, Sergeant. It's only the point. Their main body's beyond that rise. We have one minute. Wait till it starts coming in, they'll make a run for it. If we can get across that open, then we got a chance. You got a name? Jones. You know any prayers, Jones? One. Say it. Yes, sir. Give me battalion artillery. There's your order, Lieutenant. But, sir. Look for yourself. They got it made. Hey, you are, Sergeant. Those are your walking papers. You wouldn't know where I could find a 361st, would you? It could be anywhere. You know, since that breakout, they've scattered all over the place. Yeah. Well, thanks. Sergeant. How is he? He's going to be all right. They're both going to be all right. Any questions, Sergeant? No, sir. No questions. 
Come on, Lieutenant. We've got work to do. Hey, Sarge. I'm picking up a Jeep. Delivering it to a recon outfit up north. Would you like a lift? Hey, sir! Hey, sir! Hey, sir! Hey, sir! Look, Sergeant! Hey! Uh, thanks, Jones, but I got a lift. Well, what, what about the dog? You keep him for me. How are you, Sarge? <laughs> The rest is over. No more nurses and clean sheets, Sergeant. Looks like your gold breaking days are over. Yes, sir. Some guys have all the luck. Yeah. Yeah. Some guys sure do.